Welcome back. Now, if you watch the show regularly, which I'm sure you do, you'll know that Paul Mason's story is one we have followed very closely. Well, it's a tale that's taken lots of twists and turns over the years, but the latest one has taken Paul in a direction he dared believe would ever happen. Here's the story so far. Weighing a whopping 70 stone, Paul's size became even bigger news when firefighters were forced to demolish the front of his house so he could be taken to hospital. The tabloids branded him the fattest man in the world, but as his shame mounted, so did the calories, and Paul was soon consuming 20,000 each day. Then four years ago came the turning point. Paul had gastric bypass surgery and lost a whopping 48 stone. The only problem now, eight stone of excess skin. But as Paul set out to find a surgeon, he stumbled upon something else. Upon seeing his story on TV across the globe, Rebecca Mountain made contact from her home in Massachusetts. After spending hours together online, the pair have now found love. And this weekend, we brought them face to face for the very first time. And Paul joins us now along with Rebecca. And welcome, Rebecca. So nice to meet you. And Thank it's you. lovely to see you as well. Yes, and nice to meet you. What an incredible end to this story. I mean, <laughs> it really, really is. Um, it just goes to show you make one massive change in your life and it opens up your world to so many other things. Well, you do, but if you change your life too soon, then we possibly wouldn't have never met. Yeah, you that's know? true. So all the problems I went through, you know, it's worth it. What do you think of that man when you watched, watched yourself? On, on that um, tape that's the old me that I'm moving away from, you know, uh, leaving that all behind. So, you know, get back to uh, me as a Paul Mason, you know. And we, when we last saw you in January, 9th of January, and since then you, you've gone on to lose more weight, haven't you? Yeah, I've lost another four stone. So you're still, still going? Still going, yes. And um, let's find out how you two actually sort of met each other because this happened online. There was a it was a social media website where you were you would will you tell me what happened? Cool. You want me to tell you? Yeah. Tell you. Um, well, I saw Paul's documentary um, years and years ago, and um, just felt really connected right away. I think, and um, and then I just happened to come across an update that he had had the surgery, he had lost the weight, and now kind of left in limbo, not getting the skin removed. Yes. And um, I just felt compelled to, to reach out and just try to help, and, and that's all it was. You, you weren't looking for love no. at that moment. No, no, no. no. And I, I mean, I, I have, I don't know, I just have a lot of drive, and I thought, you know, I could write letters, you know, to media or um, any, any way I could help, you know, kind of thing, or even just support, you know, because I didn't know what kind of support he had. Is this the sort of thing that you do as a as a person? Um, are you have you done this before? No, no, no. But I do things that I set my sights on. I just kind of go and do, and I don't. If I feel drawn to do something, I just, I just, I don't know. I just knew that I should try. You so, know, I didn't know I could be of any help, but I thought I could try. So your relationship has been online. Um, yes. You've been chatting online. Uh, so well, what do you Skype. think, and Skype, yeah. so, that's so what, uh, what, do, what do you think of him? I think <laughs> 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 there's a lot. I mean, <clears throat> he's incredible, um, just genuine person, um, really incredibly open and honest um, about everything, about what he's been through, um, the difficulty, and I think that's helped us have that connection. Um, because he's been really trusting, so it helped me to trust as well. Mm -hmm. And um, he's um, someone I just instantly, like I said, felt a connection with. And so he's um, incredible. And what yeah. do you yeah, think what about you? Her? Well, our first chat on Skype was over four hours, and it just felt like we've been talking for years. And um, I, at the end of the conversation, um, I just said to her, what time tomorrow then? Just, you know, and she yeah. said, oh, okay, you yeah. know, sense of the time. And, you know, it's, it just goes on and on and on. And when I finally met her at the airport Saturday, it was just like, well, better than the picture you see on Skype, mm -hmm. you know, on the TV, far better, you know. At it what was so point? natural. Did it 
move from being friends online, friends chatting, the support network, uh, you know, let's work together here, to a relationship? I'd, I would say it was very quick. Very really, quick. Probably within, mm. certainly within two weeks yep, of definitely. talking on Skype. But I think it's because, like, like I said, it, we felt, I think, a mutual sort of a chemistry. Well, it always helps to meet up. To, to assure when you know when you've got together uh, and you're face to face and you can touch mm. each other. Yeah, um, but we didn't need that no. at all. No. no, we we sort of it was, meeting at the airport was like meeting someone that you met ten years ago, and finally getting to see them again. That's mm. how it felt. So what's going to happen yeah. there? Because obviously the geography of this relationship, it's go is it going to be a long distance relationship or is it something now that you've finally met each other physically? I guess yeah. that you're going to mm. think about changing what's the what's the plan well the plan is um, for me to live in America and help Rebecca with a business you know a long-term relationship this has really changed your life hasn't oh it? yes definitely so you know. let's talk about the the main issue here and that mm -hmm. is the fact that you have lost yep. a massive amount of weight yes you have eight stone of yes. excess skin yeah. which were you to be able to lose that, mm -hmm. you would weigh about four. The man underneath yeah. that is yeah. about 14 stone. Yeah, definitely. Yes. Uh, and the issue is that to have that operation, you have to prove, really, that you have got a stable weight. Well, yes. You, the NHS over here, you have to prove... Well, you have, they, they wait until your weight plateaus. So you don't lose any more weight. Because it's a financial thing over here. It's not medical for any mm. reason. So that's when I had the um, offer from Dr. Jennifer Kaplan in New York, she um, sought me out after sawing a piece about me in the New York Times. And she offered her services to remove my excess skin. And I contacted her um, and done some research on her first. And um, then when she said to me that she would, her and her team would do the operation for nothing, and the only finances I've got to find are the aftercare, the stay in hospital, and the medication. Yeah. And that sort of works out about, am I right in saying about 12,000 that you About 12,000 pounds, about 20,000 US dollars. Do they okay. do everything? Or is it because the apronectomy is the skin around well, here? Well, it's just, in my situation, it's round here and round my back, yeah. lower part of my back. Yeah. That needs addressing, then I can mobilise. Yes. Because that's stopping me from mobilising at the moment. What about because, your legs? Yes, they'll need doing again. I've already had 10 kilos removed off one leg so I can just get out of bed. Yes. You know, so, um, and then my arms. And then possibly my tummy will have to be done again further down the road. These are big operations, yeah, they aren't really they? Are. They are, yes, and Rebecca is aware of that because I said to her, and she knows that, that this next operation will... Um... You OK? Oh, it's all right. It's a big thing you're undertaking, isn't it? I can see You've that. You've obviously had this... There you go. This conversation. <laughs> What's made you cry? What I'm going to say next is that she's prepared to stay with me whether the next operation is successful or not. And if I'm in the wheelchair for the rest of my life. Which is what love is, isn't it? Sure. And That's to right. you. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. What do you, what you do? Do you, do you care? Uh, do you do you see the the fourteen stone man inside, or doesn't it matter? It's just the, the the man that you have in front of you. It's it's weird because those are the questions. Like as soon as I met him, and as soon as I realized I had feelings and he had feelings for me, like we'd end our conversation and I'd go and kind of mm. try to think about that, but I can't make a connection. I mean, that's something. It's like Paul said, that's the old him, and who he is now is the person I love. And whoever he is, you know, after the surgery or whether he even gets it, is irrelevant to me ultimately. I mean, I want him to achieve his goals, and that's the most important mm. thing. And for you, mm -hmm. um, Paul, because this is 
I wonder whether the emotion behind you, what, what you just went through there, is because you have lost so much because of this. You, mm -hmm. you've lost family members. Mm -hmm. You've lost friendships, mm -hmm. people that were with oh, you yeah. and then were no yeah. longer. Yeah. And and so the the relief of finding somebody out there mm. who do, who loves you. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, definitely. Because um, I've never been in a relationship so loving and trusting and <sighs> so giving from the other side, you know, from Rebecca's side. And um, it's never, I've never experienced that before. So, um, and we've talked about oh, loads of different things and we're so, that's another thing I like about her. She's so um, open and and also um, a little bit pushy. Mm -hmm. Which is probably right. what you need. Yeah. yeah, you're right. And when is the know. operation? Is there a is there a date set? Well, there's not a date set. There's a definite. Um, the doctor wants me to go out to um, meet her, mm -hmm. have the consultation, and um, then we've got to raise the money. And once the money's raised, then the operation will be done. Well, good luck. Yeah, absolutely. Luck. And, and you are wonderful together. <laughs> you're uh, you're always welcome cool. to come back. So, so lovely. Please, please uh, come and see us. Okay. Um, maybe next so time you're over. So happy to be both. Um, lovely. Yeah. It would be great to keep up. Thank you okay. very yeah. much indeed. Thank you, Thank Thank you very you. much. Thank, Thank you. you. Well, if, uh, like Paul, you feel you need support or advice on losing weight, there are helplines and information uh, on our website. And we'll be back after this break. Don't go away.